To think of an animal as less privileged is almost unimaginable, as human beings are usually accorded such description, which sometimes results in the adoption of such individuals. So, when the invitation was extended to yours truly to witness the adoption of a lion, it sounded more like a joke, especially considering the present economic realities. Curious to find out who could be behind the adoption of the lion, we set out to the Imo Zoological Garden, Nekede. While the zoological garden has a total of three lions, the object of interest here is Roy. The question now is, why would anyone want to adopt an animal and a lion at that? Financially, if we, the value of one lion is over $250,000 or more. So losing one because of inability to feed is something that touched me that said, okay, let us take this in as we will set up a scholarship foundation for one or two kids out there and sponsor them and help them. So the adoption does not necessarily mean that they're going to live with us as human in the family. It means that we have them in our mind monthly, yearly to continue to support their survivor. While the Lion Kings were locked up in their cages, Roy was allowed to be held by Mr. Umbiko, and believe me, the sight of it almost took the breath out of onlookers. This is the first time we are seeing this in this part of the country. I know adoption of expensive animals to maintain happens in the north, it happens in the west, but in the southeast, I have advocated severally for our big men to extend hand of fellowship to this animal. You know what I hear? You might be have not eaten, you are asking us to come and feed animals. It might interest you to know that in Umuogbaagu community in Ngokpala, local government area of Imo State, where Umuogbiko hails from, lions are seen as a part of the community. Hence, the killing of one is considered a sacrilege. In Ngokpala, it is a, a, a deity, sort of. If, if we go to our river now, and even interview any elderly man, we tell you that our lion are still alive in our river there. As a child, when we used to come to this water to take shower or fetch water, we used to hear their roar down into the jungle here. When you're standing here to fetch water, the vibration alone will make you drop your water and run away. But in order to roar in, we will hear it sometimes even very close. With this adoption, the sole responsibility of feeding and funding of other issues affecting the lion is now taken off the managers of the zoo. Lion take almost 65% of our feeding budget. Okay? So, so you can understand from this that the cost of feeding lion is huge. With this certificate presented to Mr. Umbiko, the lion now officially belongs to him for the next one year. In Oweri, Mary and Vincent Oko, NTA News.